Today is a bit different. Normally I'm touring these beautiful homes and showcasing all the beauty around me, but I am going to take you on a little tour of what the hurricane did here in Florida. So um, it's really devastating and prayers to all the people that were impacted from this. So just wanted to show you the aftermath of what people are going through here in the Fort Myers Beach area. So if this is the first time on the channel, thank you so much. I really appreciate you joining us. Um, please be sure to hit that you know like button and bell notification. You can get instant access. All right, let's go. Hundreds of boats went into the ocean and has just caused so much damage across this Fort Myers area. So um, it actually is just so sad to see because you're so used to seeing coast to coast of beautiful water and beautiful beaches. And now all you can see are the remains here. Here we are at Fort Myers Beach. This is just one of the areas that was just completely destroyed from the hurricane so we wanted to go over here and show you this area which is so crazy but there are just as you can see in the distance just stairs right the home has been completely destroyed and you've got just the stairway right here in the center so i don't know if you can see that i'm going to kind of walk up here a little bit but there you have it and this is sad for me to see because I grew up in this area and this is such a beautiful place, right? And then uh, now that I'm back looking at um, Mother Nature, it is very sad to see it. So, I mean, there's, I mean, you can just see some of these areas, the debris and just the homes have been completely destroyed. So we're going to do some videos and, you know, showcase some of the the footage here but yeah this is just complete devastation here located in uh, Fort Myers Beach so pray for Florida to the winds and of course all the rain that came came down so the storm surges and essentially hit these coastal areas and just ripped everything to pieces so um, this is definitely something that is going to take like I said a really significant amount of time to be able to get back uh, underway so rumor has it that over you know 8,000 homes and another 63 to 68,000 homes in Cuba were also damaged from it so I mean record-breaking numbers here on the amount of people and families that were impacted from this so you know driving through the area we're just so used to seeing everyone out you know biking and you know walking or rollerblading and now this is really the aftermath of what we see so it's just really really a sad thing and you know we want to spend a lot of time just really praying for all of the families that have been impacted and you know hoping that um, Florida will be restored here very soon one of the things that I love so much about Florida is the beautiful beaches and the warm weather. I've had an opportunity to come to this great state for the last 16 years as my husband actually moved to Florida when he was uh, 18 years of age. So this is kind of like the home away from home for us. So, you know, coming back here, especially most recently after Hurricane Ian hit has just been really, really devastating. So, you know, Hurricane Ian was actually the second deadliest storm that has uh, struck the U.S. really since behind Hurricane Katrina, which was in 2005. So this deadly hurricane numbers say they killed at least 100 150 plus people. However, just listening to a lot of people that are from this part of Florida, they think the numbers are much greater. So it's just so sad. Um, it actually made its initial landfall as a category three storm and that was in Cuba. Um, and then came over into the Fort Myers area, which is what this video is showing on September 28th. And at that point it was actually a category four um, as you can see, there's not many four category storms that have ever hit in the U.S., but this one was actually ruled a category four. And 
the winds were sustained at over 155 miles per hour. So you can see just the drastic damage that it caused to this part of Florida. So this here is a Fort Myers Beach and Fort Myers Beach is known for all of the beautiful old hotels that have been in here for such a very long period of time and just really amazing little stores and, and restaurants and shopping and ice cream parlors and I mean, everything has been, been taken down. Now all you see is piles of debris and all the remains from these buildings. So a few weeks back when my brother and sister-in-law were coming through this area, they said it was just so sad as you could see piles and piles of mattresses and, you know, um, appliances and just things that, you know, normal day-to-day -day living and everything is gone. Um, a lot of the things actually went out to, you know, the Gulf of Mexico. Mexico. So 